Greetings everyone. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for September 15 through to September 18. The last 48 hours have seen significant ionospheric anomalies as well as a sun diving comet and also very high solar winds after an impact from coronal mass ejections. I'm expecting that during this watch a likelihood of a 7 magnitude earthquake is possible. We now look at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we get to see solar wind speeds have steadily declined since a G1 class geomagnetic storm that occurred this time yesterday. Now I'm expecting solar winds to continue to decline and that could give the green light for conditions for a significant earthquake. We're now looking at a split screen between a stereo ahead core 2 and also cactus. This is showing a halo coronal mass ejection heading our way. Now this has been released on the 14th of September and that would mean impact on the Earth's magnetic field would be early on September 17. We also see in the last few frames the sun diving comet just entered the screen. Now look at the latest coronal hole information via solon.info and there is a feature deep down in the southern hemisphere that has caught my attention and that's the main area of focus for my watch. Now looking at a split screen between the SDO193 angstrom and a still and we get to see a significant coronal hole formation deep down the southern hemisphere that has opened up quite drastically over the last 12 hours and a significant southern portion to this coronal hole. Now I do feel there's a strong earthquake embedded within this coronal hole as it's moving quite drastically and the main areas of focus would be 21 to 26 degrees south latitude. Now, I do feel there could be a potential of a 7 magnitude earthquake on the dates of September 15 or September 16. I'm now going to plot and map some regions I feel that may be at risk for a significant event based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth. And my main area of concern for this week are for the regions of Tonga, the Kamatic Islands and also Loyalty Islands. I do feel that these regions are the most at risk for a significant event based on solar symmetry. And my final area of concern is the Easter Islands region as there is a fault line in the Pacific that does map this latitude zones of 21 to 26 degrees south latitude. Now looking at this coronal hole in a slightly different filter range, there is another region immediately ahead of this coronal hole that may produce an event and I will plot and map this region now. I do have another region that may receive an event during this watch and that's the region of Christchurch, New Zealand as I do feel there may be a 5.1 to a 5.6 magnitude earthquake for the region based on a coronal hole feature on the solar corona. We're now looking at the northern hemisphere and the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and we get to see a feature on the solar corona that may produce an event around 6 magnitude towards the end of the watch, September 17 or September 18 and the main areas would be around 11 to 14 degrees north latitude. I feel like the area of Philippines may receive a significant earthquake based on solar symmetry and mapping to earth and the main areas would be the San Mar Philippines and the Philippine Islands and stretching down towards Mindoro Philippines. This would be in the main area of concern for the northern hemisphere during this watch. Now look at the vertical ionospheric delay. We get to see a significant anomaly on the surface that has been recorded over the last 24 to 36 hours. Now these readings are extremely high and we haven't seen these since early in March which is of concern. It's obvious that the earthbound coronal mass ejections and X flares have affected the Earth's ionosphere and that would indicate that a powerful earthquake is headed our way. Now looking at the PC3 or the Australian Pulsation Index where we get to see a 9 registered on this service. We haven't seen this number reached since June the 3rd and a few days later it's worth noting that a 6.3 magnitude earthquake was recorded in the Macquarie Islands. We'll now look at the world ionospheric map. We get to see a major anomaly that has been picked up on this service with readings of 15 and 16 respectively being recorded in the North Indian region and also the southwestern corner of Indonesia around southern Sumatra has also been picked up again. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch. For September 14, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. And for more earthquake information, please visit my blog at solarwatcher.net. Thanks for watching.